Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we will continue our uh, Arabic class and we will continue taking more letters. Uh, we will try to finish them as fast as we can. I'm giving you time so you can learn those letters, pr practice them. And because remember, language is based in letters. If you don't remember them, you are learning nothing. So uh, we took the first letter, Alif and Ba and Ta and Tha and ja, ha, kha, da, and actually now we will take da, sorry, and we will take da and ra and za, uh, and maybe we will take sin, sa, uh, you know, see, uh, uh, Arabic letters, as we said, they have names, so like I say, uh, sin, sa, sin, but don't worry about those things because you will not use them. Later, when you get more advanced, you know, you can add them to your memory and you can memor memorize them. But uh, I don't want you to get too many things to confuse you. Like you might say, this letter is Sa or Sin. Sin is a name for the letter by itself. As simple as that. You will not use it. You will not say it. So later, you can add it to your memory. So now, let us go and see the letter Da, da and Tha and Ra and Za. Let us go down. This is letter Da, as you see in the front of your eyes, by itself. However, letter Da is one of those letters which we learned. They don't accept connection. All right. Now we gave you five letters. Actually, there is one letter I did not mention because that one that one will not change anything in writing, which is the letter, uh, which is considered as letter, which is the Hamza. This one here is called Hamza. This one always is disconnected. There is no left, there is no right. However, this one is not important for now. We will take it later. And it doesn't make any problem about connection. Hamza have its own problems, let us say. Because people, they might get confused about where to put it. Later, we will teach you that. For So for now, we will focus on those letters, which we said. Those, we took this one already. Today, actually, we have we are going to have four letters which don't accept any connection from the left at all so those always have to be free from the left side remember that there is no connection from the left side from here from here I'm putting the red line so you know that this is not connected you cannot connect from this one all right so those letters cannot connect from the left side anytime you see them anywhere it doesn't matter you don't connect to the left very simple you can connect them from the right let us change the color you can connect them from the right no problem all right from the left now let us continue for the letters we will learn today and see how easy it is. Letter Da by itself and letter Da in the beginning. Letter Da in the beginning is the same. All those letters who they cannot connect from the left, when they are in the beginning, they look the same when they are by itself. Why? Because they are not connected. This is why they go. Remember, we say when they are by themselves, they go to original. So. When they are in the beginning, they are not. They cannot be connected from the left, so they still look the same as if they are by themselves. This is how it is connected when it is in the middle. And remember, when we say in the middle, doesn't mat, does not mean it is the middle middle. It means it is not the first letter. How doesn't matter how many letters after that. So if we are writing a letter here, if we are writing a word, and then let us say, uh, uh, I will I will write the word. Ha, uh, sorry, letter letter ha. That will make the letter ha and da make it had. Had can have two meaning, sharp, or uh, you know something like uh, uh, like hot paper. When you eat it, you call it had. So either like hot paper, you are talking about test a, a taste, or you are talking about a sharp thing or the edge of a, a sword. So uh, had. Uh, I, I want to write another letter here. Uh, let us say M, which means M. 
that will make it mad mad mean uh, like you know uh, someone he extended his arm so you say madda madda all right so you see how it is you just connect but if you have a letter after here you don't connect because this letter does not accept connection so you leave a space you leave a space here and then you write the letter after that so let us see the letter after the uh, here is ba so we write ba hadb we leave a space because as we say the ra does not accept connection from the left as simple as that and that goes for all those letters who they don't accept connection we leave a space and then we write the letter after so like here let us say i have that are the and i'm going to write a word i will write the word uh zeep zeep mean a wolf so i will say zeep here we go this is a the and notice with me how letter the this one how it's pronounced the the it is the same as if you like you vibrate your tongue as if you are hearing a fly next to your ear the 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 so i will write now the word deep which means uh, a wolf deep letter the as we remember does not accept connection from the left so i have to leave a space here i will put a dot here to give you that this is here a space empty space so we move the letter a little bit and make a space which means we don't connect you do not need to make a long space between them no but just i'm telling you you cannot connect it that's all this red, red thing here just to tell you this is here disconnected for sure all right now i'm going to continue writing the word deep the second letter is yeah yeah i put two dots and now letter ba deep i'm using my mouse so the writing is not too much good so the let me try to write with the pen deep deep mean wolf so as you see here we left a space in this area and we do not connect very simple but remember how to pronounce the letter the the don't be confused about the and the let me go back up so you can see what i'm talking about you see here we have two letters we have letter za 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 as if you are saying in english z you know let us make it big za this one is different here this one here is the 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 as if you are biting your tongue so your tongue will go to the edge of your mouth and you will vibrate your tongue very fast the end of your tongue all right the as if it's a wing of a fly the 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 all right so th this is the and this is za when when uh, uh, you you might see people in uh, in uh, youtube teaching you that this is zai zai don't don't worry about it just just remember it as za because you will never use the what they call it zai it just uh, it, it, it will make you more confused so it is za and always will come as za and always you will write it as za and always you will pronounce it as da so why i want to remember zai so this one is the the this one is za all right so now we took uh, the and the and now we will take ra let us go here this is letter ra letter ra is the same as uh, za in writing but the difference is this one have a dot in the top as you see you see the dot here this one there is a dot while the letter ra does not have a dot so this is ra 
it look exactly both of them they look the same this one look exactly the same as this one the only difference is that this one have a dot in the top the ra does not have a dot in the top it's a plain writing letter and what ra present same as letter r in english all right so you say run run ra ra run all right so za is the same as uh, uh, letter zain z, z in english no different uh, now let us write a word here as you see the the, the all those letters who they are uh, uh, considered from the six letters which we cannot connect from the left they have the same rules we cannot connect from the left they are the same as the rest always you have to leave a space when you are going to continue writing the rest of the word and always we have this little tail to connect to them here if there is a letter before them to connect if it is at the beginning we don't connect it the letter will come by itself as we see here so letter ra will be written ra like this and letter za will be written like this we have a dot and that's it if they are in the beginning why they will look like this in the beginning because as we said they don't accept connection from here from the left all right let us continue give you uh, maybe two more letters for this video letter uh, sa sa same as the letter uh, sun samsung uh, uh, and this is how it is written in the beginning you will see it, it has a three edges if you look with me you will see there's a three edges one edge two edge three edge and that will make sa which mean when you write the letter sa it's always you have to show those three edges if you write only one edge that is not sa all right people will not understand that this is sa you have to write three edges otherwise you are not writing sa now if you look with me letter sa is the same as other letters this this letter accept connection from the right and from the left so what we do when we connect you'll notice with me all those letters have a tail when we connect them we cut the tail which means this part is gone you see this part the curve is gone when we connect it here where is the where is the thing is gone so we keep the three edges see the sa and the sha is the same and we connect from the right and the left edge from here and connection from here if it is at the end we just little tail from here and little tail for here to connect with the letter before it so sa and sha sa and sha i will write for you a word contain both letters let us see how how it's going to be so let us try the word shams shams means sun sun you know the sun in the sky the star so look the sha have what three dots this is that the first letter is sha, shams so three dots letter seen does not have dots it is just three edges so we say write it again shams this is letter m we did not take it yet so shams you notice we cut the curve of letter sha because there's a connection we delete that but at the end letter sa keep having its own shape as letter s why because as we said all letters at the end of the word they come back to the original shape remember that rule even if there's connection even if there's a little tail here it doesn't matter all right 
they go back to original shape so if the letter at the end is uh, ja is going to be like this this is ja the only difference is there's a little tail here to connect with the letter before it now sometime it can be there's no connection why because the letter before it it can be a letter that does not accept a connection like let us say the letter before it is ra so ra does not accept connection with left so ja will come like this all right so i think i we, i gave you enough for today to practice and i will make more videos to finish the alphabet and please invite your friends let them subscribe because soon we'll start our live broadcast and this is the most important part uh, uh, in our teaching uh, I, I don't want people to miss it because you will be able to ask me questions live i will be watching the chat you ask me your question you tell me what is confusing you and we clear it out for you and for the rest so the more questions we receive the better for all of you even those who will watch the videos out which means it's very important to have audience listening because i will not know really what is confusing you unless you tell me and you know people are different what is clear for someone it's not for someone else so uh, uh, invite your friends let them subscribe before we start doing the live class uh, taking the alphabet you can always go over it it's a video it's recorded you can play it over and over but uh, uh, live class i believe it's an opportunity you will not see anyone on youtube doing that they just record videos and post it for you and you know you have to work by your own because nobody want to give all the time uh, to to uh, to teach uh, live class for free you know they might give you a uh, and most of Muslims, they are doing uh, Arabic teaching just in, in order to poison your mind and your kids to convert them to Islam. So invite your friends if they want to learn, because this is a safe video. You will not find somebody here poisoning your mind or the mind of your child with Islamic cult, trying to use Arabic teaching in order to fool people and make them join this cult. And by the way, if you are a Muslim, you are more than welcome to join my, uh, my class. My class is open for everybody and we would like the Muslims to get the benefit of it too. We are not uh, we are not saying Muslims are not welcome. I'm talking about what Muslims do in order to convert people to Islam. They use the Arabic as a method, as uh, let us say, uh, 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 a way to get in, into your belief. So right away they start teaching you verses from the Quran, etc. When the Quran language, it, it's not even used anymore. And, and even Arabic speaking people today, most of them, unless they are professional, they don't even understand what the Quran is saying. Actually, I will make a video after this one and I will post it and it will show you until today how many Muslims, including scholars, they can't understand the Quran because the Quran is not Arabic as many believe. I made a video yesterday and I will make a video maybe today after I take a break, drink some cup, a cup of tea. And I will make one more video. Thank you very much. God bless. And see you soon. Thank you. Ah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. And tell your friends. Thank you.